Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Right, a good understanding comes from doing the commandments. You understand that? That's simple, right? So in doing something that's simple is applying, right? So just as something simple as what we read in Matthew 5 about lusting after a woman in your uh, uh, in your mind, in your heart, you committed adultery. What comes into your mind is what? Evil thoughts, right? It's not, it's not something righteous because you can look on a woman and be like, okay, you know, I'm going to marry that sister. A lot of times our brothers ain't thinking about that. They thinking about how can they smash, dash, and go on and pass on. They not thinking about marriage. You understand? So you have to understand what God is saying when he says this. Read that again. Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So how do we fear God? By keeping his commandments. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Because the brother said, hey, if everybody was actually you know, studying the Bible like we do, then everything would be uh, in, in perfect peace, which he's right. But here's the thing, what's different is what? We're actually applying the Bible. That's what you gotta do. You understand? You have to apply the scriptures. Get the wisdom by what? You got a flyer, right? You got a flyer? Hey, somebody get him a flyer. On, that, on the back of that flyer, there's a number and an address. If you have questions, you got all the information right there at your fingertips. But if you're, not, if you're not serious and sincere about keeping the laws of God and repenting and changing from your ways, guess what? You're going to be held accountable in that, in that judgment. You understand? So it's up to you, though. You have to be the one to make that change. Can't nobody make that change for you but you. All right? Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. How do you fear God? How do you fear God? You never thought about it? Okay. We going we going to show you we gonna, what we talking about right now is how to fear God. And fearing the Lord is the keeping of his commandments. You understand? God gave us all rules and and, and instructions and how we're supposed to live our lives. You understand? So, in the rules that the Lord gave us, we have to apply those rules. One of the the rules that he gave us was about committing adultery, right? One of the rules that he gave us is about killing, stealing. But he gave us other rules on how we deal with each other as a, as a people. All right? Give me Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 19. So, uh, 19 and verse 17. So, when you have to understand, so in the community today, are we uh, bearing grudges against, our, against one another? Do we have a fault with, with one another? Like... No, I'm not saying I'm not saying you may not have a fault. I'm saying as a community, as a people, when you see when you turn on the news and you see, you know, a brother getting shot down by his no, by his other brother, you don't like that, right? God don't like that either. This is what God said about that. Read the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You hear what God said? This is the law. He said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. We just talked about earlier that your heart is actually your mind, okay? That's what the Lord is talking about. Don't hate your brother in your mind, all right? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So in rebuking is, hey, you offended me. Hey, come on, let's, let's have a talk. Let's see exactly what we did, uh, what you did wrong, and so we can fix those issues uh, as, as, a, as a brother to brother. See what I'm saying? So we have to be able to fix issues in our community by talking things out. A lot of times people try to fix issues by going to get a gun, to shoot up everybody, to shoot up the block. That's not fixing the issues. You understand? 
God said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You hear what the Lord said? He said, Thou shalt not bear any grudges against the children of thy people. You got to. Hey, what's going on, sis? How you doing? Okay. One of the things that we was talking about was fear, the fear of the Lord. Okay? We was talking about the fear of the Lord. So how do we fear God? I'm, I was, I'm asking the question. How do we fear God? Right here. Right here. Right here. Got that for you. Got that for you. So sister, let me ask you another question. First, what, what does God look like? Black. Black. So what does God look like? Right here. He holds, he holds the mic. Holds the mic. That is true. Christ, son. Yeah, son. Sis, son. would you say this right here? Would you say this is the image of God? No, to me, God is black. They said that he's white, but I believe he's black. Who said that he's white? Okay, so how can we prove that Jesus is not white? Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna prove that verbatim out of the Bible. All right, Revelation chapter one and verse one. The book of Revelation chapter one verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So it says the revelation of Jesus Christ or the revealing of Jesus Christ because the root word, the root word of revelation is revealed. So right here in the first book of Revelation, the first verse, Christ is saying, I'm going to reveal who I, uh, what I look like. Understand? Jump down to verse uh, 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John was in the spirit on the Sabbath day. Hold on, sis. Don't, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So God is telling John, he said, look, what you see, write it down in the book. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. Brother with the hat. Brother, right here with the black hat on. Brother, let me, let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Let, let me get two minutes. Let me get two minutes. Because what we're talking about right now is the color of Christ. You understand? Do you know that Christ is not a white man according to the Bible? We're proving that right now. If our communities knew the imagery of Christ, we wouldn't have a lot of these same black on black killings. We wouldn't see each other as niggas. If everybody seen each other as Christ, we would keep, uh, we would hold each other in high regard. But we don't. We see each other as the enemy. Hey, young brother right here, let me ask you a question real quick. I know you got to you're trying to get home. According to uh, what you believe, would you say this is the image of Christ right here? You're not sure? Okay, if you can give me two minutes of your time, I'm going to actually show you in the Bible which one of these two images is Christ. Okay? So one of the things that we're reading, we're reading the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. And what Jesus is telling John is to what you see right in the book. Okay? He said, I am the first and the last, so what you see, I want you to jot it down. Alright? Read. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. So John turned and he seen him and he said what he's seen, he's writing all of this down. So he's drawing up a description. It's like an eyewitness account. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So what he was writing down was his head and his hairs were white like wool. According to these two images right here, which one of these images have white woolly hair? Would you say this image has white woolly hair? Or is it that image that has white woolly hair? This one, right? So if this image has white woolly hair, 
This is a, a wrong depiction of Christ. Hey, brother, what we're talking about right now, we're talking about the color of Christ. All right? If you, if you got two minutes, we can talk to you, all right? For two minutes. So he's saying, what you see, write in the book. So he said, his hair and his hairs were white like wool. That's the same depiction as that one over there, right? All right, read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So now he got down to his feet, and he says, his feet was like unto burnt brass, as if they were burned in the furnace. Let me ask you a question. If... If I look at your legs, would that be the same color as your face? Yeah, right? So, John is writing down the description. Read that again from the last part it says, and his feet. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So, looking down at, so John was looking down at the feet, and he said, look, I seen his feet, and there was a burnt, uh, a brass as if they burned in a furnace. What color is brass? Brown, okay, like you had, you seen a penny before, right? So that was the color. That's a bronze color, right? That's a brass color. He says, as if it burned in a furnace. If I stick that same penny into a furnace or a fire, what color is it going to be? It's going to get darker, right? So this is what uh, John is saying. This is what John is describing the color of Christ. So if you look at these two images, what color is is the accurate depiction of Christ? This one, right? So no longer would you be able to go around on the earth and say, this image right here is, is Christ. You understand? So as you, you know, go, go home and everything, show this information to your parents. All right? Let them know that Christ is not a, a white man. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.